Recently, the U.S. Open just ended, and during the middle of the tournament, one of the most iconic figures in sports announced her retirement. Let's look at the millionaire mindset of Serena Williams and how you can learn from her. Hi, my name is Manif Ali, and I'm a tried and tested multiple brick and mortar business owner. I've closed billions of dollars in sales over the last 25 years, and I started this YouTube channel so that I can help more people achieve financial freedom and success. So let's get it started. Well, I want other people to be like me. These are the exact words an 11 year old Serena Williams said when she was asked who is the tennis player she wanted to be like when she grew up. Imagine that. She didn't mention any other names but herself. At such a young age, Serena already showed passion and confidence confidence and determination to succeed in tennis, a theme repeated throughout her life. Born in September 26, 1981, she was raised in the tough life of Compton, a neighborhood much like mine. Despite being from a tough neighborhood, her father believed that in order to raise a champion, they needed to be physically and mentally tough. So her father, Richard Williams, decided that they should stay in Compton for a few years before moving them to Florida to further their training. Her million dollar journey started when her father was watching a tennis match and he just saw a player win $40,000 in a tournament that lasted only four days. And that's when he realized Realized he was in the wrong career and he knew tennis was something that could change their lives forever. So he quit his full-time gig, told his insane plan to his wife that they would have two kids and turn them into champions in the future. Richard barely knew anything about tennis, but he was determined to turn things around for his children and his family. So he bought a VHS tape with some tennis tutorials, which he then used to teach Serena and Venia. He truly believed that this could be the ticket out of poverty. So regardless of his lack of knowledge, he was determined to train his kids, which he was able to successfully do. During a retirement speech, Serena gave credit to her parents and to her sister Venus for helping her become the superstar that she is today. She knew that the reason why she became successful was that she was raised to be a winner. Thanks to her sister and her parents who always cheered her on and fed her the drive to compete. Even in her businesses, most of her inspiration comes from her life experiences and the people around her. Like how Serena wrote a children's storybook based on a doll that she made for her daughter. She wanted her daughter to experience playing with a black baby doll. The one thing you should know is that you can't do it alone. If you want to succeed in a particular field, you need inspiration and mentorship. I learned my first real estate businesses from my mom who was totally illiterate and you would think she wouldn't have been able to teach me anything. But I learned a great deal from her struggles and what she was able to do. She had worked hard, was able to save up, she was able to buy several property. And to this day, she makes a whole lot more money than people would have actually thought she could even in retirement. She gets to travel the world and do a lot of things that other people her age don't get to do. And it's all because she struggled and she saved and she invested. In those early years, seeing my mom do great things in real estate, I developed the same mindset to grind and then to use my real estate knowledge that I got seeing a single uneducated mother accomplish great things in her life because I learned what it means to work hard. So I'd like to thank my mom for that one. So if you want to reflect on your life, what was the moment that got you interested in a particular thing? Whatever it was, I need you to use that as an inspiration and an opportunity to grow in whatever field you're in. Maybe you just don't notice, but inspiration is always around us. You just have to look around and within yourself. According to her family, Serena was always a fierce competitor. There were times her dad would sign Venus to tournaments and leave Serena alone because she was too young but instead of obeying Serena would join the contest instead on her own accord and she'd eventually sometimes even face her own sister and sometimes Richard Williams took a bunch of kids to their practice sessions so they could insult them I know it's not conventional training but he said his daughters needed to be trained for the unexpected and remain focused despite of outside distraction something that proved to be very useful when she was playing at Indian Wells where the whole crowd was against her and no matter what sport or game they played Serena Serena would get mad when she didn't win. Her sisters would instead let her win just to calm her down. Some may call this bratty behavior, but they understood at the time that they were raising a champion with a championship mentality. So they fed her inner desperation to win, which we all know translated for her being one of the most dominant champion ever. In another interview, a nine-year-old Serena showed her desire to be the best tennis player. In that interview, she told the world she wanted to surpass the current number one player at the time, Monica Seals, who was only 16 but she said she would surpass her when she got to 15. So whatever rivalry you threw her way she wanted to beat the record. And another thing that we can learn from Serena and her family is that if you want to be successful at anything you need to have a desire and that 
desperation to make things succeed. Greatness doesn't happen on its own. You need to be able to grind for it. And whenever I mention grind, you know, I'm not talking about just about grind culture. It's about being focused on what you really want and making sure that you're willing to sacrifice things that stand in your way to get to your goal. If you're looking to up your game with more financial education, then tune in to the Munif Ali podcast. Every Monday, I give you unfiltered opinions and tips on how to help you get to the next level. For all you aspiring millionaires who are just starting out their journey to financial success, I'll catch you guys there. Serena is estimated to be worth a whopping $260 million, but only $93 million is from her tournament earnings. Most of her wealth comes from sponsorships and her businesses. I know I'm saying only $93 million but that's a whole ton of money right not only is she a tremendous tennis player but off the court she's very successful as a businesswoman and as a fashion designer and also as a writer one of her companies serena ventures has invested over 110 million dollars on startup projects that follow her own mindset of being a champion and projects that are willing to change the world she quietly started a company to help startup companies or projects that had great potential to succeed and promote equality in fact 53 percent of her invested companies are founded by minority and 78% of those companies are founded by women. Think about that impact. Now, if she would have never gone on to have a championship mindset, she could have never been doing what she was doing today, which is investing in things that she believes in. In fact, the amount of work that she's doing, experts believe that Serena might soon be the second billionaire woman athlete because of Serena Ventures. She has invested in things like the UFC, Masterclass, Bumble, and even crypto companies. Not only is she a world-class champion but she's invested in companies that are now worth billion think about that a girl with overwhelming odds coming from the great city of Compton but she was able to really think beyond that beyond just what was in front of her but she thought of the future Serena could just happily retire with the amount of money she gained her endorsements alone estimated to be about 15 to 20 million dollars a year but for someone who likes to be the very best and to make things perfect you can't stop her from trying something new that's just how competitive she is and that is the millionaire mindset you know something to leave you with imagine if Kobe Bryant was still around he had just started to venture out and start to invest in other companies as well that championship mentality is there and it makes people who have that type of mindset become not only wealthy but makes them successful in many aspects of their life aside from having deals with clothing giants like puma and nike serena herself started a sustainable designer clothing line called s by serena with the amount of businesses that she's working on it's hard to believe that she can manage all of them and make them all succeed and that's something that we should all work on never stop to work excellently in everything that you do I want people to like me. That's something that we should all try to aspire to be. Having that perseverance and that drive of a young Serena Williams to be successful. Her life story is something that we should all admire. Despite the difficult situations, she was able to push through. Thanks to her family who never stopped cheering for her and her own tenacity to succeed. Thank you for watching. And if you want to learn more about success stories, check out this video right here. The top five highly recommended books that will change your life. Books for success.